Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to encrypt files, folders and drives on Windows 10. As a Windows 10 user, you have numerous options for encrypting your files. But in this video, I will show you ways to encrypt individual files, folders and even your disks. Each approach has its own benefits and drawbacks. So I'll try my best to explain which is good and which is not really very good. So what you can do is you can encrypt either your files, <coughs> folders or hard drive. So we start with individual file encryption. As the name implies, individual file encryption refers to encrypting files one at a time. Each one has its own password or a key. The next one is the folder encryption, where you encrypt the folder, which then encrypts the, everything inside that folder. And the third one is hard disk, or the disk encryption, where you can encrypt the entire disk drive to protect your files. So how do we encrypt files and folder on Windows 10? There are plenty of options, numerous softwares, but in this video, I will show you basic stuff. So if you're using Windows 10, and of course, so if you're using Windows 10, you will have a built-in encryption file system called Encrypting File System, also EFS. This option is only available in Windows 10 Pro or an enterprise user. However, if you don't have, uh, if you're not using one of these, you can also use a third-party software. In this case, uh, we have 7-Zip software, which is an open source and free to use software. So, how do we, how do we encrypt uh, an individual file using the Windows 10 built-in system? And believe me, it's, this is an absolutely easy task. What you need to do is I have created a test file here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to tell you how to do it in an individual uh, file. You need to you need to go to the file that you want to encrypt. Right click it. Go to properties. Go to advanced option, and then here you can see encrypt contents to secure data. You just check it and press OK. Apply. And that's it. The file is encrypted. If you see, there's a lock, uh, there's a lock icon over there, which says this file is encrypted. This is, so this is a way you can uh, encrypt the individual file if you want to encrypt it. And if you want to encrypt the entire folder, the process is the same with EFS. Just right click the folder, go to properties, advanced, see, encrypt the content, secure it. I already did it before, so it's checked. Okay, apply. And everything inside this folder is now encrypted. This is the method uh, of, of a Windows 10 built-in system. However, there's a huge drawback of this system. It only works on NTFS formatted drives. So if your drive is not formatted in NTFS, it will not work. And if you have a drive, if you've encrypted your file in an NTFS drive and then you copy and paste it to the drive, which is FAT32 or FAT uh, formatted, then the file becomes decrypted. Or if you move your EFS encrypted file across a network, or send it via email message, it becomes decrypted as well. So you see, it's not very useful to encrypt your file using this built-in system. Okay, the next, uh, uh, the second way you can zip your file or encrypt your file is by using the third-party software. In this case, we have uh, a third-party software, open source software known as 7-Zip, which I have already installed, so, what you can do is just right click the file that you want to encrypt, go to 7-zip, add to archive, select archive format to zip, and then you can set up the password.
and select encryption method to AES-256. Press OK. You see, I have a file which is now encrypted. Now it's asking for the password because I encrypt the file. I, I will now enter the password and OK. Now I have a file which is encrypted and password protected. So now you understand how to encrypt the individual file and the folder. The last thing is how to encrypt the entire disk, right? Again, if you are a Windows 10 user, you should be having a built-in software called the BitLocker device encryption. And however, if it's not installed, or even if it is installed, I, I, I think I will not recommend using the BitLocker encryption software. It's way too difficult, and it is absolutely not user friendly. So, what uh, what should be used then? There are plenty of other softwares you can use, but in this video, for the sake of uh, our discussion, I would recommend VeraCrypt. VeraCrypt is an open source software that you can use to encrypt the entire disks or entire uh, hard drive and protect your files. You need to download Veracryf. Uh, I, have, I already have downloaded it and installed it. So we're going to learn how to use Veracryf. Most softwares are very easy to use. You just uh, open them. They give you the wizard, things like that. And then you can simply follow the instruction and install it and encrypt the, uh, the hard disk. As you can see, we have a Veracrypt running on the Windows 10. And uh, what you can do is uh, you can now plug in your portable hard disk or a USB drive or anything portable you want to encrypt and then mount that drive to one of these hard disks. Unfortunately, I don't have anything portable uh, available at the moment. So in the, in the for the sake of the discussion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, encrypt through a wizard mode. Go to the system file. Here you can see encrypt system partition or a drive. Click it. Now you have a wizard menu. Through this wizard, you can encrypt your entire drive, which you have already C, D, or E, or F, or any hard drive uh, you're using. Uh, simply go to next and follow the, these uh, steps to uh, encrypt the drive. Unfortunately, I cannot do it because I only had one drive uh, on my computer, which is a Windows drive. I just don't want to encrypt it anymore. And, you know, just do not do not want to do it in this case scenario. just want to show you how to do it. This is a very good software. I recommend you to download it and encrypt it if you really want to protect your files uh, or your work. So this is it. Uh, this is a short video how to, uh, a sort of introduction video how to do it. And uh, if you came along this way, I, I respect you and I kindly request you to subscribe, like and share my channel, my video and comment. Give your suggestion, your feedback. If you want to, if you want me to make a video on a specific item, please do share. I'll do it. Thank you so much for watching. Later.